The Illinois Senate approved Governor J.B. Pritzker's climate change agenda. He says he will sign it into law. Taman Bradley breaks the bill down for us from Springfield. Today, a huge sigh of relief in Springfield. We have an opportunity here today to vote on a bill that literally will save tens of thousands of jobs. The Senate okayed the House changes to a massive energy bill. Exelon had warned that today was deadline day and without a taxpayer bailout, it would close the Byron nuclear plant today and its Dresden facility in November. The bill saves the nuclear plants, at least for now. But the legislation also takes a crack at climate change. The bill requires most coal plants to close by the end of the decade and it phases out natural gas by 2045. It also provides renewed subsidies for wind and solar energy projects and rebates for some electric vehicle purchases. Our goal all along was to enact reliable, renewable and affordable energy policies that put Illinois in a position as the nation's leader. The legislation takes aim at a top carbon polluter, the Prairie State Generating Station, pushing it to reduce emissions by 45% by 2035 and completely by 2045. Illinoisans will pay for the policy overhaul. The average residential customer's bill will likely increase by $4.50 per month. Some Senate Republicans slam the final legislation. This bill is a blatant attack on small businesses and a disservice to downstate Illinois. Here we are, another bailout bill that's going to be the greatest energy increase uh, in Illinois history. I urge a no vote. State Representative Marcus Evans, a lead negotiator in the House, explained the importance of Springfield acting. We got to build out the solar infrastructure for the future. We got to address reliability today, and we have to phase out the dirty industries. Governor Pritzker celebrated the bill passing. I am very proud and pleased to see that Illinois is going to be one of the leading states in the nation when it comes to addressing climate change. That was Taman Bradley reporting. Exelon commended Governor Pritzker and the General Assembly's actions. The energy company's president released a statement reading in part, quote, This new policy offers a better future for the employees who have run these plants at world-class levels, the plant communities that we are privileged to serve, and all Illinoisans eager to build a clean energy economy that works for everyone.